my gosh, it's so pretty. <sighs> See when that happens. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome in general. Today, I thought it'd be fun to test out some overly sponsored products, products that I've seen either in advertisements on my For You page or on Instagram, or I've seen people talking about them in a sponsored capacity, and I got curious and I bought them, and we're gonna see what the deal is. And if you like these videos and you wanna see more, make sure you give this a thumbs up so I know. We can keep making this as a series. And we're gonna start out with some makeup, in specific some brands that I have never tried before. Starting with a very fancy brand, actually, <laughs> A couple of these are fancy. And by fancy, I mean expensive. And the first one is the brand Typology. And Typology is a French-based brand. So 100% of their formulations come from France and their laboratories there. And they develop all of these premium skincare meets makeup kind of products. And the one that I had seen probably the most online was their like glow formula. And while they do say everything is sold 100% online so they could take premium ingredients and sell direct to consumer, they're still not cheap. I got two products and I'm going to be honest, I don't even remember what the second one was. Ooh, this is fun. I like these little sleeve guys, this is so cool. All right, what do I, <laughs> what I get? I got, these are very small, I just realized this. Awesome, they <laughs> weren't giving these away. I got the, oh, the self, this is a gradual self tanning serum, so we'll try that tonight. And then a serum for your hands and your nails, because my nails are super weak, very brittle, very bendy. That's why I keep them very short, because that's, that's the only way I can live. And this has keratin and hyaluronic acid in it. So it's gonna keep my hands nice. So we will apply this in a second. I'm still looking for the other one. This guy, this is the glow drops. This is what I've seen online the most. It's a vitamin C aloe vera illuminator basically. Apply two to three drops into your day cream and apply to face. I'm wondering, can I mix this in with my primer and use it that way? Cause I've already applied my cream. I didn't think this through. I'm gonna give it a shake. Cause I want it to show up on my skin. I wanna see it. Two to three drops, it says. One, two, three. It would be real glowy. Mix it together, mix, 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 mix. And then apply. Am I so glowy? Oh, I forgot I already put on Concealer. Don't put it over the concealer, Rachel. Okay, everyone. Am I so glowy? I don't know how much of that is glow and how much of that is I just applied something to my skin, you know? So like, let's give this a minute. I don't think it's bad. And I do think I am more glowy than normal with this, this primer on. I think, right? I think so. Well, that's good. But again, you don't get 15 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounces is what you get. It's expensive. And then let's put this on the nails. This will need a little bit more time to like try out, you know? Does it smell like anything? Nope. Can you put it on my weak and fragile nails? Nice oily consistency. I mean, I do have, <laughs> I do have nail polish on. I'm trying to get it around on all the, you know, what's the word, cuticles. There we go. And on my hands, you know. I didn't put that much on. It's kind of a little bit oily, but it dries down really fast. Like my hands don't feel oily right now, which is good. So far, so good. <laughs> Jury's still out on if it makes my nails better though. We'll stay tuned on that because now I want to go on to a mascara that looked real interesting. And I saw this in both a like a viral product and also a sponsored capacity. So I was like, well, let's blend of all the worlds. This is the Neogen Extra Volume Curl Metal Maxi Cara. Maxi Cara. An innovative metal brush to apply your mascara like this. Oh, it was very thin on the top. I feel like it's one of those, you know, those pots that you put the the quill in <laughs> to do your writing late into the night. Okay. Why it has two. Why is there why is there two? This is one. Oh. You hear that? It's a weird sound for a <laughs> mascara. What's the other guy? I assume that's just to open the entire thing, right? That's fine. It's fine. So excited. Do you have instructions? Sounds like you just use it like a regular mascara. I'm gonna try and show you guys up close. Old school 2016 video styles. That's what it looks like. Very interesting wand. I guess let's, let's try that. First, I need to recurl my lashes. All right, let's try it. It's very cold. I already got it on my lid. Ugh. The one thing that I am 
finding irritating is that I'm trying to get it so that it's releasing some of those like clumpy bits, but it, all it does is it just pushes my lashes back against my lids instead of, you know, combing through it, you know? Guess we'll do another coat. Why not? Yeah, see what I mean? Like there's a clump right there and like, I can't do anything with this wand to remove it. I have to use my little brush thing to comb through. It's a lot of work. Maybe I'll try, I'll try it on the other side and like see if maybe I just made this too difficult for myself. Up to bottom. I guess bottom to top. All the way through the lash and try and get the back. Get another coat. Totally honest, I am not even looking at the mirror. I'm looking directly down and hoping for the best. Because as soon as I look up, I am absolutely gonna get it on my lids. If I haven't already, I don't know. I can't see anything. All right, that side is is considerably less uh, clumpy. I don't know. It's a lot of work. I have other mascaras that I like better. I don't get the hype of this. It's cool, like it's a unique experience, but now I have mascara all over my lid that I didn't before. Sometimes that's inevitable, but this one, it just, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not sold. Okay, I think I got all the mascara off my lids. I mean, it's fine, it's just, it's a lot of work. Now we're gonna go on to another expensive makeup brand. <laughs> Never had heard of it before and it's OG. Ogi? OG? Anyway, <laughs> I was gonna order more and then I saw my order total and I was like, oh, maybe not then. So I got a couple of things though. <laughs> and the same sort of thing, organic ingredients, skincare meets makeup, just very expensive, fancy experience. Starting with, hopefully this is my shade, this is the uh, Sculpted Complexion Stick. I got Birch, which is 0.5, 0.5N. So let's see, good for me. That's a pretty good match. Oh, we should actually check if I'm glowy still. I think I'm pretty glowy, honestly. That feels very glow forward to me. I like that, um, that glowy stuff is so expensive though. But it has vitamin C and all sorts of different ingredients in it, so maybe it's worth it, I don't know. But it does add a really lovely glowiness to my skin, which I like. Now we're going to do this on the skin. Honestly, it smells expensive, but not in that sort of like Chanel perfumey way, just like in a, ooh, that smells like expensive ingredients kind of way. Let's see how much product I get. That much. I don't remember how much it costs, but I'll put the cost up there. <laughs> and you can see what you're getting. I'm gonna use my fingers to spread it around. Normally I use a brush, but my fingers are clean and um, I wanna keep as much of this on my face as possible. It's giving a lot more coverage than I was expecting. I mean, I feel like that's well blended, but the last couple of times I've looked back at videos and been like, oh my gosh, Rachel, learn how to blend out your makeup. I mean, definitely like coverage. You could add to it if you had, you know, unlimited money to, to spend on this brand. Trying to see what kind of like build we're, we're talking here. Is this like a medium coverage? Like, what are we talking? It doesn't look cakey. It looks very smooth. It feels nice on the skin. Like it's a good product if you are someone that's investing in your, in your makeup and you want that. I mean, it does work. But now let's try their contour collection. <laughs> they had a couple of different things in here. So, um, Let's see, I got the golden contour. So we have amber, topaz, and carnelian. Carnelian, okay. So basically we have a bronzer stick, we have a blush, and then we have a, like a highlighty blush. Let's start with the sculpting. That wasn't as like a exciting as I was hoping. It's just like, you know. All right. Let's blend her out. This time I will use a brush. This is very light. Is it just me? What do we think? Is that soft and sculpty? Let's go on to blush. This looks like a pretty color. It blends out really pretty. Very soft, very natural looking. It's a pretty color too, I like that. I put way too much blush on my nose. Now it just looks like I have a sunburn. Maybe I can cover it up with this expensive stick. <laughs> All right, there we go. I think that's better. Okay, and then the highlighty blush. Ooh. Oh, I really like that. Dang it. I was hoping this would be all garbage and be like, nah. Listen, there is a market for this. And I like the blush. Sorry, the, the glossy blush, I guess, a lot. I like the blush too, honestly. I'm like trying to like 
dip it in and see what that looks like. Such a pretty color, it's very subtle. So I mean, if you like subtle makeup and you're looking for something that has all those really good natural organic ingredients in them, I mean, this works beautifully and the color is such a moment, I love this. Just be aware that they're not giving this away. But you can't deny that this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <sighs> See what that happens. <laughs> All right, you know what? It is, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Can I put it on my lips too? Ugh, so mad, so pretty. Dang it. <laughs> and now we're gonna go on to a product from a brand that is also really expensive. And that brand you've probably seen a hundred million influencers talk about and that is Reformation. And so I bought something for them to see if it's worth it. Hello, past Rachel here. You may have recognized this from another video. If you recognize what video I filmed, gold star for you. Leave me a comment and let me know if you know which one this is. But today, because I'm also trying on another dress for this video, I'm gonna be trying on a beautiful dress. And this brand is very um, overly sponsored. Reformation, have you heard of that one? Crazy expensive dresses. Now they do have like a whole backstory to them and why they're so expensive and the materials and everything. But, hmm. but why I picked this and I thought it was really interesting is they had been promoting their whole thing that was a bra friendly dresses or like attire in general. I guess tops, you can't do bra friendly pants, but they have a filter that you can go through to only select items that are bra friendly, which I thought was really cool because again, that's one of the reasons that I am so picky with dresses. I have to like look at it and try and decide like, can I wear a bra with that? So when I clicked on it and I went through it, there were a lot of ones that were like, yeah, reformation. It's a <laughs> high neck turtleneck top dress thing. Good to know that it is bra friendly. And then as I started going through, I'm like, oh, okay, we're, we're talking any kind of bra. Sticky bra, uh, strapless bra, a strap bra. And I feel like it'd be very important to distinguish these, at least for me. Like if you want to group strapless and strap bras in one category, fine. I'm fine with it. But sticky bra, that is an entirely different category to me. That to me is the same as no bra. Like that is so vastly different. So don't lump those together. Those are two different categories. And I only noticed that because I saw one and I was like, oh, that's pretty. And then the girl turned around and I'm like, pardon me, what? Like a full on open back situation. It's like, you can't wear a bra with that. That to me is not bra friendly, right? Tell me I'm wrong in my like definition of a bra. But anyway, <laughs> I bought a dress from them that I thought would be uh, a good test and it was bright red and it's beautiful. Also worth noting that the shipping so fast. I've never had a dress arrive to my door so fast. Like I blinked and it was at my door and I was like, how did I, did I even press send like in the checkout? I don't even remember. If you have a large budget and you want to dress quickly, reformation just really came through. But I wanted to open it with you because I wanted to get the, the reaction together. <sighs> Oh, I love a red dress. It is such a moment. Okay, I'm excited about this. Uh, I, hmm, okay, I was excited about it. This, <laughs> it is so light. It's very light, almost see-through. Like I can see my lights through this. She's a little bit on the breezy side in terms of the quality, very wrinkled. I will need to also maybe iron you or steam. I don't know, one of the two. We are gonna try it though, because this is why I thought it was interesting because there's a cutout in the middle. And I'm curious if you can wear a strap bra with this corner here. That's another thing, reformation if you're watching this. Can you make a little thing on the side that says if the girl's wearing like a sticky bra, a strap bra, or a strapless bra, or at least indicate like which bra you can or cannot wear with the dress. If you're gonna have a filter, you know, that'd be really helpful for all of us out there that do not want to wear a strapless bra if we can help it. Okay, dry on time. Okay, technically, yes, you can wear a bra with this, technically. If you don't move, as soon as you go like this, everything's up. If you stand like this, I feel like I'm in a medieval dress. Is that just me? Maybe it's with the bun, <laughs> but it does cover the bra straps. So I will give them that. It is not long enough in the sleeves, not even a little bit. Even the length, no. Can I like let it out? No, 
it does it. It doesn't come with any extra fabric. You have to be a very specific <laughs> height for these dresses. I didn't even look and see if it was see-through. Hope not. It does fit under the bust, which I appreciate. I don't like it. Like, I, I'm not a I'm not a fan. Like I know that they have a purpose with the fabrics and how they put them together and it's a very big environmental story and how they like position themselves. So that has some under I understand with the with the fabrics, but like it doesn't feel super expensive. I don't like that there's not a lot of options in terms of like making the length work for different heights and like sleeves and stuff. Also, um, I looked at all of the directions for, I was like, oh, I'm gonna iron it. You can't. All you can do is dry clean it. That's it. They were like, don't wash it, don't dry it, don't wet it, don't look at it, don't put it in the sun, do not wear it swimming. So it is a hard pass for me, unfortunately. However, they did do what they promised. It is fitting my normal strapped bra, so. I'm excited about that. I do have lots of suggestions though, Reformation. If you ever want to chat, I am here. Not entirely what I was expecting from this. So yeah, unfortunately that uh, was shipped right back to the company. I was pretty disappointed, but let me know if you've tried anything from Reformation. Maybe I just got a bad one and there are other ones out there that are just beautiful. I don't know. Didn't have a good first impression. Now the next product I have not tested yet. And that's because I want to experience it with you together and I'm, very curious about this, like very curious, because I I don't sleep well. I haven't slept well in like four years. I am working with doctors and trying to figure it out. I have different medications that kind of help and I do different things. Magnesium glycinate, if you have not tried magnesium glycinate, talk to your doctor about doing it because oh my goodness. I had to go in like a higher dose though. So again, talk to, talk to a doctor about it first, but like, Unbelievable. Anyway, this product is called the Apollo and it is a bracelet that you put on and it sends out these like little zaps is the wrong word, like staticky things, I think, that's going to help you in falling asleep and staying asleep. So we have here this clip and the wearable thing. I have no idea what's going on. I am learning just the same as you. So I guess we put it on. Like that. Now what? We have a band. Do we have a band? We do have a band. Okay. I mean, it's not the not the cutest band, but I mean, it works. I need to know why there's a clip. Ooh, getting started guide. Okay, okay, okay. Of course, there's an app. <sighs> okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I've downloaded the app. Now you can see what I see. So press and release the raise dot button. What do you see? Press and release the raise dot button. Okay. I don't see any color, Apollo. This thing needs to charge before I can use it. Really mad. Okay, fine. Fine, Apollo. Go, hold on a second. All right, we're back, everyone. I've eaten lunch, put some powder on my face, so this thing better be alive now. All right, put it over on the side here. So I'm pressing the raised button. It's blue. It found my Apollo. Well, that was easy. Slide the device close to the metal ring put on the Ap Apollo, okay. Okay, you want me to slide it through this little thing here. I'm trying to figure out if that's the correct way. <sighs> All right. <laughs> After way too much, um, I think I have it on now, yay! She is uh, quite large, but all right. Use your Apollo. Oh, hold on. Oh no. <sighs> no, now it's green. Dang it. Ugh. Tried to go back to read the instructions again. <laughs> Both buttons. I can already see why the app has a 2.6 rating. It is always an irritating thing to me when a company that comes up with a really cool concept can't do the consumer experience really well. Press and release both buttons at the same time to pause or play the current mode. But which one? While mode is playing, press and release either button to increase or decrease. Either button. Just pick. We'll see if it goes up or down. Adjust intensity until vibrations are noticeable but not distracting. And that will vary depending on the environment and all that kind of stuff. All right, okay. Here's a fun thing that I find incredibly irritating. When a company won't let you write in your birthday and they pull up a calendar and you're like, 
This wasn't, I wasn't born a month ago. You want me to go through the ca- Ugh. Okay. Now that I've gone through this whole process, let's try, there's like a, a couple of different options. Let's go for energy. I'm really scared about it. I'm gonna do intensity. I'm gonna start at 15. It's very subtle. I don't know how to describe that. It feels like a, um, like a phone is vibrating, but a lot softer. Like a, like if a cat purring was mixed with a phone vibrating. Really soft and I can feel it into my hand a bit. Gives you a boost of energy when you're feeling tired. All right, I'm gonna do this for 15 minutes. I'll report back, let it do its thing and hopefully I just forget it's there. I'm gonna have Chris try it too because Chris gets really tired during the day. Um, so I'm curious if he notices any sort of like a boost from this. Christopher. I have a thing. See this device? The telephone. <laughs> no, not the telephone, the other thing. It's a thing that's supposed to either help you with sleep or help you have energy or f calm or focus by using like little vibration-y things. And you're, yes, yeah, you can do your wrist or your ankle actually. And then I can set it up on my phone. Which one do you, what do you want it? Do you want a little energy? I don't know anyone more Tai Tai Mai Tai than you. <laughs> what does social mean? That's a good question, Christopher. I don't know. I'm curious what it would be like to feel social. Elevates move and energy to relieve stress in social situations. Mm. Good for parties. <laughs> yes, this would be great for parties. <laughs> it's a conversation piece. Well, exactly. Oh, this? Oh, it's just because I can't stand talking to you, so <laughs> I need electronic stimulation to help me. Christopher, I need that at parties. Um... More energy, more passion, more passion. More... Okay, energy, sure. Okay, so it says um, to start at 20%. I started it at, at 15 and I could feel it, but tell me, it should... No, you can't go all the way this up. This one goes to 11. Christopher, don't... Let's see, <laughs> see if it works. Okay, well, it should go, this is gonna go, this is gonna go for 15 minutes. I've done 15 minutes, but we could also do 30 if you really want more energy. Oh. See how I feel at 15? Okay, I'll come back and check on you. Text me if you want me to turn down the attention. Okay! <laughs> Christopher, no! Then Christopher, you took this off. How yeah. was it? I, I mean, it didn't do anything for me. I, it was fine. I didn't feel more energetic. I noticed it at first, and then I didn't anymore, and then I noticed when it stopped. All right. Yeah. Supposed to help with, like, sleep, too. Okay. You can make a fortune promising to help people sleep, so why not? Uh, it didn't give me any more energy. It didn't bother me. Uh, well, that's not worth then the $200, $300 that it's, it's charging, so... It's worth that to someone to whom it does give energy, but yeah, that wasn't me. Wasn't you. All right, all right, fair enough. And lastly is a brand actually a couple of friends had seen kind of pop up on their feed as well. And this is um, Happy Hippo, which is like such a cute name. And they create all of these really fun bath products for adults as well as kids and all of these different bath bombs and soaps and make these little tiny mini bath bombs and Epsom salts, like just a bunch of different stuff. And so I bought, they have like a, a kid's collection of products where you can test them out and kind of see what you like. And so I've been slowly going through them, you know, doing one each bath for the kids and stuff like that. We started with, Connor wanted to do the mini bath bombs, the galaxy ones. And these were fun in that he could like drop them in individually and they made this sort of like fun, fizzy noise and dissipated and made the bath like a vibrant, vibrant bluey purple color, which he loved. Not a lot of bubbles. There wasn't any bubbles, but the smell was really nice. And they have this little vent, vent for, for freshness of the product, but you can smell the product, you know, just to see what you will like, you know? And the smell is really nice. It smells like kind of candy-y, but in a honey, in a rich way, not in that really like hit you in the face, one note, sickly sweet kind of way. It's really pretty, like I would use this. Then we also tried one of the bath bombs. He chose the Sunberry one, which um, unfortunately made the bath a very unfortunate shade of yellow, which is not what you want to see in a bathtub. There are a bunch of here that I haven't tried yet as of filming this, so I will include footage if I do try it. One being the bubble bath bomb. It says bubbles in here, so I'm hoping there will be bubbles, because like the other ones I didn't see 
I didn't see any bubbles. This one has a toy inside, which I thought was just really cool. So hopefully there are bubbles with this one and then I can show you and we'll see what the toy looks like. Super fun. But everything in here is made in Canada. This is a Canadian company. Um, everything is 100% vegan. It's mostly um, all natural, it says. 99% natural ingredients in here. Small business. I had a lot of fun testing a lot of these out. I, honestly, it would be really fun to add some of these to like a kid's birthday present or something because I think those are always super fun something like that are you kidding me they didn't leave stains in the bathtub the kids had a, like a great time lots of different scents to choose from there's adults as well as kids you can pick and choose and um, yeah it was super fun okay jump scare I know excuse the mask this is for next next week's video you'll have to stay tuned for that I just wanted to say quickly here that the mascara it's just it's not coming off I have tried what I normally do which is like warm water and like very very lightly kind of pressing it in and that usually that's usually enough to get any mascara off. Not this one though. So now I've been soaking, <laughs> soaking my lashes with a waterproof eye makeup remover. And it's like barely, barely touching it. So um, it doesn't look like I have a ton on right now, but I can feel it on my lashes. It's still there. So that's not super awesome. Don't like that. Just keep that in mind if you are choosing to purchase that. It is, uh, doesn't come off easy. Now back to my mask that uh, you'll have to see next week. So if you see this, make sure you comment on next week's video and say you came from, from last week's video. You know, you know. Okay, I think, I think I got it off. And we also have to try some of the typology stuff. So tonight I'm gonna try the two to three drops of the self tanner. One, two, three. And we'll see what that looks like um, in the morning. And then I will keep you guys posted um, in the info bar on the other serum if I like it. But I am curious if this does anything for my face. What are you supposed to do about your neck though? I feel like you need to put some on your neck. Why is this just like a weird, this is a weird mask. I don't know. It dries down really fast. Like I'm pulling on my skin now, which I don't, I don't particularly love that. You can mix it in with your, um, with your moisturizer, but I'm gonna put it on, my moisturizer on after this kind of like dries down. So. I'll see you in the morning. We'll see what it looks like. Good morning. Everyone's still asleep. So my skin, I think it does look more tanned than it was. And if I think back, I bet if I watch the footage back, it is fairly instant how tanned I ended up looking. So that's good. But it's like a pretty nice glow. And for three drops, it's pretty good. It's just you don't get a lot and it's very expensive. But I'm gonna use it. Let me know if you've come across any of these products on your For You page or if there are any other products that we should try out next time. Let me know in the comments below. I will link everything as always in the info bar and check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic, fantastic day and I'll see you guys all in the next one.